Without a ball, it's just a court. Without your spirit, it's only a game. So together with the fans, we bring our best. Hennessy is excited to celebrate the intersection of basketball with art, music, and fashion. Each of these elements of culture represent ways that fans, players, supporters pay homage to the game, both on and off the court. Hennessy and Mitchell and us have come together for the ultimate drop, a limited edition collection to mark their shared love for basketball culture and to celebrate Hennessy's continued partnership with the league. The exclusive collection will have a limited drop available for both in retail and online and will be featured on the Hennessy Arena Tour, making stops in San Francisco, Saturday, March 9th, Dallas, Sunday, March 17th, Atlanta, Saturday, March 30th. Come see Club 520 Podcast taped live in each city. For your next pregame, let's share a twist on the classic, the Hennessy Margarita. A squeeze of fresh lime juice and a bit of agave syrup. Top it off with some ice and a salsa rim. Mix it, shake it, pour it. And enjoy the spirit of the NBA. Hennessy, without your spirit, it's only a game. 21 and over only. Please drink responsibly. Subscribe to our YouTube, Club 520. Uh, we clowning on that mother. Just hit the button. <laughs> God. Don't ask more questions. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, we back. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Wells. Same gang with me to my left, my dog Bishop be here out the Prillies. How you what, nasty? Cool and nasty. Let's get to it, baby. You you gotta hit the fine jar, man. You know what I'm saying? You've been getting your feet. The feet's been crazy, but you know what I'm saying? You ain't been wearing the uniforms, you know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, yeah, my bad, my bad. And before we start the show, I want to apologize. Um Kaylin Clark plays in the middle of the court. <laughs> Not on the sh- So <laughs> I just want to address that right now. I'm sorry, Double Where's Cup. Where's that stemming from? Huh? What happened? Uh, last episode, he said that Kaylin Clark, who on the same side of the court, is Queen Latifah. Yeah. And they cleared that up for him. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. She yeah. got a boyfriend? Yeah. I believe so. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey. So, shout out to you, Double Cup, for sure. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> to my right, my dog, Young Nacho, Young T. How you what, man? man I'm chilling, bro. Uh, <laughs> shit. Damn, I'm out of uniform, too. <laughs> We about to have start having fines on this episode. Nick's out of pocket. Oh no, them, them be late. They was literally by the door. Yeah, these by the door. I forgot to put them on before the episode started. Them uh, Air Max ones is some shit that was really at my house by the door. These are my throwaways, but these these low top Elevens. I don't even know what they call really. But I remember nice, these, baby. Okay, there they go. Mm. Low key, you them is my favorite Elevens. These your favorite elevens? Them are so far to me. Oh, bro. Them are my favorite elevens. I fuck with the IE lows. I fuck with them tough. The IE lows are fire, bro. The for them to be your favorite, bro. You a wild boy. I ain't say they was the best, but I fuck with them tough. Them are yeah, heat, bro. Yeah, dude, I fuck with these though. I literally said we was talking about elevens last week. We were talking about low top shoes, mm-hmm. and I was like, the hardest ones is the low eleven, like the snakeskin joints. And he looked at me weird. I like them white. Them and I white feel like gray. you did that <laughs> You know I do. Every time you talk about a shoe, <clears throat> nigga, what do I do? I'm oh, yeah, you know that. I was, okay. I'm going to wear them. The white with the gray, the snake skin Ooh, looking. The blue. Woo. The originals? Tough. Mm. Yeah, those are the hardest ones. Yeah, Even when uh, we was in high school, they made the the argon blue ones that was white. Then they had the all blue. And they had the black and yellow yeah, and the gray. Yeah, they had yeah. some eating them colorways in them shoes, man. Yeah. But speaking of shoes, shit, 404 day when this dropped, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the ATL. We was just there, had a great time. Shout out to Hennessy. Shout out to Lou Will. You know what I'm saying? We did a little bit of shopping. I'm on I mean, there, yeah, hooked us up, you know what I'm saying? We had the shifts that dropped, you know what I'm saying? We didn't get the 95s that dropped today. Them are pressure. Them pressure. Hopefully mine's on the way. Shout out to Nasty Nancy, my yeah. dog. Shout out to Burn. Shout out to the whole team over there, man. Appreciate y'all. The hospitality y'all gave us. For sure. Now, speaking of Air Maxes. What's the hardest Air Max? The uh, Neon 90, uh, 95s. Mm. Great 95s. Which ones? The men's and women's? Because it's two of them. Probably women's since he want to ankle it. Fuck Whoa. you. <laughs> Bust down ankle. I ain't never heard about that one, but that's for sure. <laughs> the rainbow purple. <laughs> I wonder what color rainbow purple is. Continue I'm sorry. The show. <laughs> Mike, the show. what color is rainbow purple? Continue the show. <laughs> Be here with your hair max you fucking with. Uh boy, probably the 97s. Mm, what color mm. the gold ones? Nah, relax. The gray. Oh, uh, the OGs? The, the gray OG white with, ones? The, with the red Nike sign on the side of them. Ooh, yeah, the silver joints. 
Yeah. That Neon 95 is up there, but for me, I got to fuck with that OG Air Max 1. That, that white, red, and gray one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. definitely. That motherfucker just undefeated every time. Yeah, yeah. I love all of those. The white and black, uh, the white and gray, white and orange. I like the royal blue ones. Yeah, yeah them are tough. Man. Yeah, them are my favorite. The ones that came out for Air Max Day this year is Fire with the green sole. It had mm-hmm. the... Yeah, that's that was fire. fire. You can get them off with anything, too. Yeah, bro, they classic. That's one thing. The OG colorways, the Air Maxes. I know we talk about it in Jordans all the time, but the OG Air Max, they go with whatever you got on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that Neon 95, you can wear whatever, and you got that shit off. Yeah. For sure. What about them Air Max ones, uh, the Oregon edition? Y'all seen them? Them yeah. are tough. Them, them are hard. Those are raw. I was, I'll probably, I'll spend a pretty penny for those. I ain't gonna mm. I like them a lot. Y'all know I'm an Air Max one guy, too. Mm-hmm. I got damn near 15 to 20 pairs of Air Max ones, so. That's one of my favorite Air Max, but the 95 neon joints, them my, them my, them my ones right there. The 95 so crazy that you can put, like, sub any color and they do it on that yeah. 95, no matter if it's pink, blue, whatever that scheme is, yeah. and that shit fire. Yeah. My Aunt Bebo, she had every color growing up. She made me the first one to want the 95. She, I mean, she got them still to this day. They all in boxes. Damn. She had every you single color of the 95, bro. It's crazy. Damn, shout out to Auntie. Keep it fresh. Yeah, for sure. Hey, man. Final Four is upon us, man. Shout out to Kaylin Clark. Yeah, people was calling me Uncle Tom in my DM. People are fucking stupid. I said, damn. <laughs> you act like she ain't cook them. Like, she cooks. <laughs> Listen, last year, you know what I'm saying? We know what happened, but she came back this year with Benji. Yeah, bro. 40 looked- balls to get to the Final Four is tough. Bro, she looked like Steph Curry. <laughs> She was the the recruit that they brought over. Is that girl from Louisville? You talking about uh, Haley Van Lathan? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she. Destroyed her. She made her go back to school. Yeah. Destroyed her. Yeah. And she was pulling up in their face, bro. Crazy, bro. And she dropped 12 dimes, 41 and 12. Bro, that's elite, bro. Bro, she really looked like Steph Curry. Some of them stuff, I'm like, when she did the behind the back to the lay, I said... I look like Steph. Yeah. Except really... in the double team and then shooting a three anyway is only Steph Curry type shit. Steph Curry. I said yeah. she's the girl Steph Curry, bro. I, <clears throat> I ain't want to say it, but it's like, yo, you play like Steph Curry. Nah, to me, and y'all know I don't be tapping in like that, but she's the greatest that I've seen since Candace Parker and Maya Moore. Oh, uh, in women's yeah. basketball? Uh, yeah. To me, yeah. The times that I have watched that shit, See, I can't really say, like, when I watched Tarazi and them and Maya Moore, I knew they was good, but their teams were so good that it was like... Yeah, but Tarazi was, was nasty. I'm saying, bro. but, like, UConn them was beating people about 35 in the mm-hmm. championship game and shit. You know what I mean? That's true. She by herself, Dolo, beating yeah. other... I mean, defending champs, beating them by... Not by herself, but... No, by, by herself. herself. Like, Respect. You know I mean? Candace yeah. Sparkle was bringing that bitch up the court. She was your own man. But I remember her. She was booming that motherfucker. Nah, yeah, yeah. I got put Brianna Stewart up there, too. I know UConn was good. They were but... so good, bro. But they weren't four. She was four raw, crazy. Though, Yeah, I'm saying their team was too good. She bro. was a different kind of white girl, bro. Brianna Stewart was special. But that's why I respect Atlanta Dela Don, too, because she on a similar situation. Yeah. She was murdering shit Dolo. Yeah. And you seen a boxing win every night, and you yeah. still killing, you're elite. Yeah. But, um, LSU took that loss. And the crazy thing about LSU is that I don't know why people hate injury so much. Yeah. I understand why they don't like LSU, because they don't like their coach. Mm-hmm. Kim gets a lot of flack, and she deserves all of it, especially the way she do, bro. She she be wilding, bro. She brought she brought a lot of that smut to that campus with her, not the other way around. She didn't get to LSU, and that shit started happening. She brought that with her from where she came from, bro. I think Angel Reese and them, they was turned up from last year, and yeah. I didn't say they think it was going to be sweet. But they was expecting to win that shit again, bro. As they should. They was popping their shit this summer. As they should. They won. Yeah, they was pop- but I'm saying, though, niggas don't like Angel Reese because they feel like she worried about the other shit than who. And also, if you see a lot of the hate that Angel Reese gets, especially in that sporting community, bro, it ain't got shit to do with basketball. Yeah. Nah. It don't. It don't have shit to do with performance, bro. She played well all year with a messed up ankle. And nah, she- I fuck with her. But I'm saying sometimes when your outside life get exposed to the world and you constantly you had a yeah. nigga your knee and your nigga broke up like that stuff over you know what I mean your hoop game so but the people who really be hard on her bro ain't us yeah. nah like, hell yeah, yeah. Nah, that's just normal shit like that when she was talking about how she felt in the press conference how she was like I feel sexualized and then motherfuckers start showing a picture of her in a bikini that's stupid like 
that hate ain't got shit to do with her performance. She could score 30. They just, they wanted her to lose, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And she be popping her shit out there, too. She Maybe performed, man. though. She played with you, so that. She be, Absolutely. But that's what come with that, though. Yeah. We moving on to the next big thing. She all right. Yeah. You know what's crazy about all this shit? Nobody has talked about South Carolina. They're not. That's they're crazy. Just, they're just going to keep winning. Yeah, and, bro. They ain't nothing to say. And chill. They just keep winning and chill. I, I love that for Don Staley. Yeah. They already put so much pressure on her for her to just have to do the right shit all the time. They and just went who, under the radar. And that's, that's crazy. That's who get unnecessary hate. <clears throat> Don Staley? Like Angel do her thing. But you know what I mean? Don Staley, bro. I don't know what it is, bro. Yeah. She ain't out here being fried, bro. Motherfuckers still disrespect her. Yeah. Like, that shit is crazy. And they don't put her amongst the greats, and I, I think that that's crazy, too. Oh, they will, though. That's they should do it now. Yeah, for sure. She's definitely amongst the greats. But the thing that <laughs> I think it make it, like, weird for, like, Angel Reese and them is, like, they got to make that. It's like WWE for them. They got to mm -hmm. make themselves popular because you don't make that much money in the women's sports. Like, So if she don't do that off-the-court stuff, yeah, yeah, and she ain't going to make that much money. She, nah, you gotta that's why I said yourself. I respect it. You just yeah. that backlash will come with it. That's why flow be in and out. Like if she ain't rapping or you feel me yeah. on somebody's side, she kind of in the cut chilling. You know what but I mean? She also ain't. Look, she ain't the girliest girl. Niggas is trying to <clears throat> crack Angel Reese. Yeah, Niggas ain't trying to crack flow. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Just, I ain't know how to. Just play. being real. <laughs> like, so that that uh, that factor, that sex appeal yeah, factor, yeah, comes yeah, into yeah. effect. Yeah, they trying to hang with flow. They ain't yeah. really trying. You know what I'm saying? No offense. Yeah. Love, he want love. We ain't on yeah, that. Yeah, flow. But you know the difference. <laughs> yeah, flow is crazy. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, but finding out Caitlyn Clark got a boyfriend is lit. Like, hey, I, shout out to him. He is prospering. He is living the dream. He the next step, man. How does it feel that your girlfriend is way nicer mm -hmm. than you in basketball? Like, damn. You, you, that's a movie, ain't she it? cold, so yeah, shit. It's a movie that's loving basketball? <laughs> yeah. I'm nothing on sitting the court side at my, my girl's game. Yeah, that's definitely love of basketball because Buddy was terrible. We talked about it. Hold no on, could you, could, if your wife, like, could you go to your wife game? If you play basketball too, you don't make it to the league. Your wife make it to the league, she's a star. Could you go sit courtside at your wife game? Yeah. Not yeah. I. <laughs> you ain't supporting? A WNBA uh, game, bro? Nah. <laughs> Yeah. No. Sign me up. No. So, you ain't wheezy. I need my tickets, baby. No, nah, I'm saying like... In my jersey. You live in your dream, and I'm not. <laughs> like, fuck that. <laughs> that is hate. It's hate. Oh, hey, I'm like... Yeah. I'm I've not never going been to the game. I'll be like, person, babe, bro. I'm not going. Like, oh, bro. But I'm mm -hmm. just saying, though, like... If you... If your <laughs> wife a perennial WNBA All-Star, you play basketball in college, and they like... You just he, overly competitive. He works bro. at the accounting firm. He's her. He, he's her accountant. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, that's fire. It is, but I'm like, bitch, I hoop too. <laughs> like, you, yeah. you trying to play your one? Be her. <laughs> like, fuck out of here. Oh yeah, your pride. Like, your pride in the white bro. Nothing, bro. I wouldn't give a fuck, bro. Do it, bro. Why don't she ask you to rock the jersey? I'm saying I'm nothing, bro. I'm not. That's why I wouldn't. Getting date a divorce is crazy, bro. Like I wouldn't play, date a basketball girl. They want to see you doing good, but not better than them, ass nigga. <laughs> not in the same shit I do. That is if, crazy. If I play this sport, and you better than me at my sport, and like, yo, Lane, I'm cool, bro. But you could be Joanna Man, bro. Like, bro, why the if you fuck got would I want to be Joanna <laughs> no, Man? No, listen bro. to what I'm saying. You could beat all the girls in the WNBA. You just wasn't good enough to make the NBA. Yeah, but my girl's the best in the WNBA. But and you're nigga, better than her. Mm. Yeah, but nigga, I'm not even in the conversation, nigga. Uh, like, yeah. when we go somewhere, they're going to be like, you played at Syracuse. <laughs> you like, bitch, I played at Wake. <laughs> like, don't do that shit. <laughs> that nigga. He be talking about old niggas not letting it go. That nigga right that ain't there. my situation. That ain't my situation. I'm just saying for, any, for anybody who had that situation, I feel bad for y'all. God, that nigga Jeff Marion is crazy. <laughs> Don't ask him about a jumper. Facts. <laughs> Bro, when people come up to me and say that, Sean, I know you start following Instagram, but I have to address it. People came up to me and was like, Bro, you was really shitty about your jump shot. <laughs> And they like, nigga, he checks you, nigga. <laughs> my mama, he ain't checked you. <laughs> I was just being respectful. Like, damn, I see he's a little tender about his jump shot, bro. He's a professional, man. He's a professional. Yeah, I respect it, though. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, girl, come home from a 10-day road trip. Hey, we were in the ones right now. Nah, she, <laughs> she got me fucked up. Nah, she come in like and shit ain't clinked up or something. I left my shoes on the door and she like, I gotta come home to this shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Well, that she's not the breadwinner because they do have a Kroger salary. So you could what still about be she up. what about she Caitlin Clark? She got I seen her on State Farm. Mm. I seen her on Now you talking about the new age woman. Yeah, I'm saying Because Cheryl right Swoops now, them had to get it out the mud. Hey, I'm saying right now, if you date a girl. Caitlin Clark making millions, and you, oh, okay. you didn't make it to where you wanted to be. You might have went to play right. overseas for a couple of years. Love who you love, man. Yeah, that nigga I, winner. You a winner. I, I mean, I could. My wife could be the bird when I ain't tripping, but it just can't be the sport I play. That's what no, no. I was about to say you don't care that much, bro. No, no. If she, my wife was a billionaire. Yeah, making, you would love that. Making fabuloso. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, I could shout out to the up. lineage, <laughs> <laughs> fanatics or whatever you want to say. What's the clothes called? <laughs> that nigga you know the from? clothes. Man? That nigga got called? P making fabuloso. Know, and fabuloso in Spanish. Fabletics. <laughs> Fabletics. <laughs> I wasn't going to help you. He always <laughs> trying to put you as a clean lady, P. Nah. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not. Damn, she gonna kill me. Be- bleep that out. I meant Hell Fab no, Letics. we ain't bleeping that out. <laughs> Fab hey, Letics. The people who was born to Fabuloso, y'all niggas are immune to COVID. Who was what? <laughs> who was born to Fabuloso? Nigga, that's yeah. probably why I didn't have it. Oh, well, damn. you caught it. I was you didn't boil it long enough. <laughs> I'll definitely boil Fabuloso. <laughs> Only thing I ever boiled in my life. After a nigga motherfucking fish fry in the crib, Fabuloso the purple. We got to go gun smoke. <laughs> Oh, that fish ain't going nowhere. <laughs> oh, no, that motherfucker, that catfish is up out of there. Yeah, bro. That fabuloso you give it to in the pot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, real talk, bro. Real nah, talk. Nigga, that's the only thing I ever boiled in my life, bro. I, I had it on so long, so long. I had it on for so long one time. That shit evaporated. <laughs> it wasn't nothing in the pot. Wow, you damn near burnt the crib. Damn near had the crib on tilt. Damn. <laughs> That's Don't crazy. Get, shout out to my nigga Louis. Another Louis. smell trick. No nasty shit, though. But if y'all got some common in the crib, put that motherfucker in the toilet for y'all do y'all thing. Facts. Smell gone. No cap. Yeah. We can move on. Respect. Shout out to the recipes. Man, facts. Mike, we're going to get some common because he be tearing that motherfucker up. <laughs> and if you got a lighter, yeah, light a match. Yeah, light a match. It'll get right, too. For sure. <laughs> I was waiting on Michael Small. I, I, I learned that shit going away for us, nigga. Yeah. You know, we had community bathrooms in our dorms. Yeah. And that good private school education. Yeah, yeah. you motherfucker got to like that match. You get right in there. Yeah. We're just adding value to the pod. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Life lessons. I, I used to shit. I used to shit in the uh, goddamn <laughs> basketball facility, so I ain't going to hold you. Well, for sure, bro. Ooh. I used to do damage in there, man. R.I.P. Oh, man. What hey, about man. Juju? Hey, Juju cold. Is she? She yes. cold, bro. She shoot a fucking lot. And she should shoot more. The reason why they <laughs> lost is because their coach <laughs> stopped getting her the ball. I mean, that pissed me you, off. After you missed 15 in a row, at some point, you she gotta shot, get somebody else. She put that bitch in the air. You got to get somebody else to try. She been yeah. doing it all season. Yeah, but. You kind of just too polished for a team. That was like my that, first bro. time watching her, and I like her less. Damn. You a hater, bro. I'm not She's hating. raw, bro. She got pro moves, bro. She do, but you don't I watch... like her volume, but yeah. her game is raw, bro. It look nice, but like when you see Caitlin Clark being efficient Clark. and doing that, like she got 12 dimes too. Respect, bro. I'm Caitlin is. Caitlin I mean, she, is... A, she a senior, she yeah. a freshman. I get it, but it's just like she's going to grow and be a great player, but it made me like her. I hate people who just shoot. Yeah. Crazy amount of shots for no But reason. you UConn was just too much. And they they came back. They was down 10. UConn, I mean, USC came back, but she just don't have two or three more killers. UConn is eight deep. You know what I mean? So it's kind of hard. Like. And the biggest thing I saw from that was clearly the big difference in fucking coaching. Yeah, bro. I mean, I mean, what year is that for that lady? That's bound to happen. No. Yeah, young coach. Yeah, yeah hell yeah. Going against, against Gino. Yeah, like, that's, that's tough. That's, a, yeah. that's the best that's coach right. of all time. She damn near was AAU coach type shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's bro. Good job. And she was going to have to be an elite coach with an elite performance from Juju to beat that type of team. Yeah. Neither one of them happened. And then Paige is back to herself, so. 
Yeah. Been cold. I don't understand why people didn't know that. And sorry on you, but she been cold. Like, yeah, I mean, she tore ACL last year, so she she's hurt. Hard. She been hurt twice, hasn't she? Yeah. If I'm correct. Yeah, but like people forgot. Like, damn, she tore her shit. She back. Yeah, she's and nice. to be real, she she cold. She probably better than Juju right now. Yeah. So I expected them to win, but she ain't better than Kaitlyn Clark. I see nah, people she saying better she than better than Kaitlyn Clark. Nah, like, yeah, the USC on the way up, bro. They yeah, yeah. they would have beat if they would have beat UConn. They would have been the first time they made it to the final four since '84. Yeah, bro. And honestly, I hope the rules change in the next couple of years for Juju because she should be in the WNBA. Uh, maybe if it happens too, but she's gonna be the next phenom to go to the W. And Why do girls gotta stay in college? Uh, Man, because of the league they going to I ain't got an alternative for them to be there full time. That's the only reason I didn't know if y'all knew like the exact reason why they made motherfuckers go to school. You can leave. Years. You can leave. You just can't uh, go to the girl from Rutgers left one year. Oh, okay. But it was just like when you leaving the to do what? what? Yeah, so it was pointless. Yeah, I think what they make seventy six thousand. That is a top pick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they making a whole lot. The overseas bag is there, but. Yeah. But $76,000 ain't bad. Hell, you only play 20 games. Hell, y'all play more games than Pike. <laughs> <than them. laughs> For real. That's, like, that's they, true. That's but I'm just saying, like, so I ain't gonna comfortably say, in Indiana. You e Weezy, make... I ain't, y'all ain't working that hard. Nah, E Weezy ain't getting 76 now. She getting, she's one of the top towers in W. I ain't talking right. about that. I'm talking about when me and her be talking about WNBA and the NBA. These niggas is playing a hundred plus games. Yeah, y'all get to play twenty, and y'all go right back to Baghdad if you want to. <laughs> but the fucked you know up part mean? is that they got to do that. Not have to, but something that they, they have I to did. do that to go get that money. It's I crazy. did. Then she got, just got done playing somewhere. Then she, yeah, then she oh she gonna get a bag. Then she won. Shout out to my nigga. She won the chip. Yeah, she talked about my fit I had on in like two thousand eleven. Damn, I said your yeah, was I was weak. about to get on, uh, I ain't going to even roast you. I almost called you, motherfucker. What's nah, we going to get on your ass in person. Start up on this flow. <laughs> From the back. Girl, I love Shout out to my nigga Weezy, man. Oh, shit. Oh man, y'all niggas is crazy, but yeah. <laughs> I heard that song in a long time. You singing that shit as funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Twig. Because she was trying, she tried to heat me up. So but she see the old pic? I somebody had posted a pic and like added me and was like, man, y'all done, you know, people done grew up and it was like 2011. I had like on a polo hat. I just had, it was winter. Yeah. And she was like, this fit trash. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, the that's whole time, her. I would go, I ain't right back. I was about to just start because y'all know I Jones. So I'm like, that's her. I really get on your ass. Like, <laughs> I think said, nah, I'm always talking on the pod. Yeah, I was like, all right, I got stuff for you. Oh, hey, that's the one thing I love about this. Hey, don't do no bullshit because I'm not going to say nothing. It's going to be on set. Yeah. But when we push on I told this camera. Hit, I told him I'm going to leave it alone because yeah. I was like, I was going to roast her, but shit, fuck it. Perfect time. He kind of go too far sometimes, so. <laughs> I had to be the man to step in and be like, nah. <laughs> Shout out to you, Weezy. Hey, man, Skechers keep playing in your face, man. And B got a bag over there. What did he end up getting? I don't know, but he got a new shoe. And he debuted it. Shout out to them Skechers, man. He, he what got... it look like? Skechers. I'm, I'm sure he getting at least 8 million plus. That's crazy. At That's one... fair. At one point in time, <clears throat> in the NBA days, all the best players had like cold signatures from brands that you wanted. And now today, it's like damn near the opposite. All the top niggas have shoes that you don't give a shit about. And that's crazy. But it's crazy because it's a market for everybody. Somebody yep. loves Skechers and they gonna fuck with them Joe Willem beats. That's crazy. The whole country. I was gonna say, boy, Cameroon. They going platinum. They're not actually terrible. They not. They not that bad. I ain't even seen them, but I just know Skechers don't really make horrible shoes. Mm. They make comfort shoes. <clears throat> it, it looks like something that you would like. It, it that nigga good. said that boy PR training getting good. That nigga said mm. it's been good. I just act crazy because of y'all. I ain't really like that. Like, if y'all put me ESPN, y'all put me in the right setting, I really don't cuss like that. Oh, let's go. He's I really, really Jason Williams. Yeah, I really Wait. just got really good takes. I don't Which one? The black one. <laughs> I hate that one. <laughs> Motorcycle 22. That's crazy. That's just foul. But listen, I really got good PR. That nigga said he could fuck, bro, for a long time. Boy, that was a depression like a motherfucker. He said that? Mm-hmm. Said it took him out after the motorcycle accident. Yeah. 
That's crazy. I'm happy that yeah. I'm happy, honest for real, for the ending like bounced back from the nah, shit. I'm, like, yeah, I'm talking yeah, about bro. like the dark place he was in the shit. That shit's crazy. Like I can imagine that shit nah, fucking you sure. up. Sure. Yeah, like seeing your future just like taken away from me. And you know you like that. That's yeah. tough, bro. But yeah, put T on first take. That's the promo. Yeah, if y'all really want that, y'all wanted to turn up almost because <laughs> it looks. <see? laughs> they be on there wilding, dog. I can see you getting on there going hey, crazy. Paul Pierce been on undisputed getting his shit off. We must know that shit coming between. Yeah. Shout out they give him Pierce. the crazy ice hole on there. Yeah. Damn, that's where Polly be at. He don't understand to get his shit off. I fuck with that. Wow. Skip like, please save us. <laughs> I seen Shay gonna get a his own signature shoe. What you think company gonna go after him? Man, <clears throat> if Nike don't get him, that's crazy. I'll be. Surprised. I could see Shay like signing with like a like a luxury brand that has the they first player to have a basketball shoe. That be that would be like fire. Louis Vuitton. He signed with them and they make him a hoop show. That'd be elite. You know, I saw that NBA tie already there, that connection. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I could see some shit like that because he's a fashion guy. He get fresh too. I ain't gonna oh, yeah. Him. And I, I don't understand. I mean, <clears throat> I guess maybe the bag probably ain't there, but shit, Converse should keep him. They did their, their last campaigns around the shit. The shoe you have was kind of cool, but obviously he's trying to get to a bigger platform. Yeah, but. yeah. I mean, I don't know. Now, Nike can't let Shay get away, if possible. Yeah, they got to keep him there. Yeah, he get fresh. Y'all think Caleb Clark gonna go into the W with the shoe? Hell yeah. If not, they just smoking. Man, every little girl in the, every little white girl in the world gonna be wearing Caitlyn Clark's. And if she make them fire enough, dudes is gonna wear them. Like, mm-hmm. like Sabrina. No, you're gonna say, just like Sabrina's? Yeah, <clears throat> but Caitlyn Clark bigger than Sabrina. Like, way bigger. Walking in her trap. Come on, bro. I, I'll get some Caitlyn Clark's if they was nice from Nike. Oh, hell yeah. And you know they're going to be far. Like, it got to be. <clears throat> you see them possibly doing the two-on-two um, next year in All-Star Weekend. Who's uh, her and Dane versus Steph and Sabrina? No, or... it'd be uh, Steph and Clay versus Sabrina and uh, Caitlyn. Caitlyn. That'd be fire. It's That'd a be contest. Hard. But why are they just going to kick Dame out, though? I mean, I guess it's it's in the Bay. You're going to have two of the best shooters ever. I don't know. I mean, shit, Dame should be in there. Dame is from the Bay, though. Yeah, he's from sure. the Bay. I mean, he didn't won the championship the last, well, I mean, the three-point contest the last. Two years. Yeah. That'd be far. Yeah. I ain't mad at it. It got to be dang. It has to be. Damn. I mean, it has to. Like, it won't even be right. Like I agree, bro. But, you know, light skin, you know, in the NBA, bro, it's the closest thing to the other side, bro. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you was going there on that shit. I didn't, but respect. <laughs> I mean, it's the truth. Respect. <laughs> Hey, man, it's been brought back up on Twitter recently. Um, a lot of the shows that MTV was doing and they put out to the world that we love and we used to watch was absolute bullshit. We know half of this shit have been determined as bullshit, but the fact that they went back and combed through some of those episodes of MTV Cribs is one of the funniest things ever. Because I watched that Yin Yang Twins episode. I hadn't seen that since I was a kid. But I should have known the niggas who made the Whisper song did not have a fucking sailboat in their family room. Yeah, facts. But there's yeah. no way. I'm so now let's pot. Cause now we <laughs> let's be ourselves now. Cause I, I did my PR ESPN, fuck with me. If not, okay, fuck it. <laughs> Listen. They had me fucked up. <laughs> Cause Ja Rule had me thinking that was his house. <laughs> that ain't that nigga goddamn house. Business. They was renew houses just for the yeah. episode and leave it. I think that was really pretty. Y'all niggas made niggas house, broke bro. and shit, try to live like y'all to make sure goddamn houses. <laughs> I think that was really Penny Hardaway House, though, with the ball. That was Penny Hardaway House. Well, he's rich. <laughs> that was Penny Hardaway House. <laughs> so, and that was Jerry Stackhouse. Yeah. Like, was, I know that. So the athletes, okay. Yeah. The rappers? Rappers, oh, whew, boy. Hell not nah, the one. That's, it I was knew believable, that one. though. Redman's was believable. We all think that was Wayne in them house. Um, after hearing nah, that Rick Ross song, I don't, nah, know. I don't think that was a. I don't know, bro. They was they, good. They, 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 had they was gazillionaires, but they early. was torn that motherfucker like they ain't nowhere to go. That's what fucked me up. Yeah. I said I was a kid. I never paid attention, but when I was walking through and the way the niggas was yeah, looking, they the was point, like, "Nigga, you don't live here." Like I think Ray J got one. He was looking a little confused. <laughs> oh God, he was like, "Yeah, yeah I, was, I, I always just tapped into the athlete one." So them shits was capped. That's crazy. And then Pimp Your Rod. Definitely. Kept Imagine it. a nigga just trying to get a new Austin there. He come back with a toaster in his trunk. Yeah. That was my favorite time. show, bro. A motherfucking fish tank with a, a boom box in that bitch. What the fuck is this shit? That was a good show. I got a homegirl look like Exhibit. 
And they used to take niggas old schools and just goddamn it. Pull up on you, nigga, with your raggedy shit and bring you back a whole new vehicle, bro. That shit raw, They bro. never fixed... That's not fake. <laughs> they never fixed good cars, like... That was the point couple, of it. You know what I'm it. saying? Like, nigga, a Caprice Classic. Pimp that motherfucker. They a pimp a motherfucker. It's like Honda what they Civic. did with Kylie Jenner, bro. You got to start from... I don't want to pimp a Honda Civic. You call bro. her a fucking the Toyota, bottom, bro. <laughs> Putting 22s on a Honda Civic is crazy. Yeah, but we're going to soup that bitch up, though, bro. You know... <laughs> and they had to pay for the excessive stuff that they did too. We gonna paint you know that bitch. Sound system, cheaters. I thought that shit was real. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Wow. I was running around thinking motherfuckers really gonna be out here with cameras. That's crazy. <laughs> Joey Greco still a whole ass nigga. I think show. you can still hire people to do that. <laughs> yeah, they have private investigators. No, I, yeah. yeah, but- yeah. <laughs> Cheaters That's was, real, cheaters bro. Was fake, bro. But niggas was pulling up in vans in exact locations, bro. And yeah. pulling up in people's houses. Nigga, everybody hey. can't get a camera put in their house. And y'all got to, y'all got to drop. <laughs> and every time y'all got the camera, niggas is doing naked shit in front of the camera. Like, did nobody on, had a pistol? At any episode, did nobody send no shit? Nobody away. fuck in the room and everybody just fuck on the couch? <laughs> the, that private... <laughs> That private investigator shit is real, bro. It is, but... Maybe no, how they played out on that show was kind of fugazi, bro. Fake. No, it's so real. So every time we fight, we just bump. <laughs> what's, more real, throw a punch. what's more real, cops or cheaters then? <laughs> Fucking cops. Cops is fire. <laughs> I don't think cops is real, bro. Cops Some is of, way more real than cheaters, bro. bro. <laughs> so like, <laughs> them stings running away from the cops, bro. <laughs> like, hold on. Niggas running like, out of breath. But on cheaters, and inhaler. If you see... If you know you on some bullshit... <laughs> and you see 30 motherfuckers coming with cameras, nigga. You're getting up, bro. For for sure. For sure. But and nobody's saying, gonna have my low like that. But the they, they, they have flip phones. <laughs> they pop out, bro. And I think uh, like if a motherfucker I back then I feel like it's easier to keep up with you than now. As crazy as technology is now, back then niggas had routines, bro. Cause it wasn't that much shit to do as it is now, bro. You could and niggas is way smarter now than they was back then. Niggas was going to work. These niggas was fucking the side hoes in the crib. <laughs> Nigga, that's because it was shout out to the cheater. home game. That shit is fake. Mm-hmm. Nobody's fucking nobody in their crib. Hey, hey, you know what's crazy too about that's this cat, shit, bro? <laughs> nobody, nobody. You don't think nobody? Hold on, DJ. No, you don't think nobody? You don't think nobody in Indianapolis is fucking they side bitch in their house? No, bro. Cat. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, mate, I don't know. But what I'm saying is... Yeah, we ain't got to put no name. I'm just no, I'm saying... Not put, I'm like, not putting no name. I'm just, just saying, You just had to think like, about it. Everybody ain't going to get to an alternate location, bro. Yes, bro. Niggas is not... Bro, you, when you niggas, never know when, when your niggas, wife, wife, girlfriend, whoever they when are. Niggas, when if niggas know their girl schedule <laughs> and the girl is gone or vice versa and the female know her nigga schedule, bro. So yo, none of these niggas just ever have y'all jobs. If nigga work third shift... That nigga don't don't be a trucker. Oh boy, that nigga yeah. that drove the new Mexico. <clears throat> Girl, you yeah. got more than enough time to get yammed on. Don't man. let her be an RN. Hell, oh man, hell nah. Ain't nothing like a traveling nurse. Hell oh, nah, man. Man. she's on assignment. <laughs> so am I. She got she got more respect, man. Hell nah, she ain't gonna do that. Man. You don't think girls is doing that? No, bro. I ain't. Shout right. out to the queens. I don't think definitely shout out to the queens. Hey, you said cops. I should say what's more realistic: Reno nine one one or cheaters. Probably Fact. Reno. Reno, Reno 911 is one of the greatest shows ever. <laughs> that shit was funny as hell. Hey, man, where the hell Bronny James going? Because obviously not the NBA. They going to the league, man. You think so? What is college? Damn, what he going to do? In a transfer portal. Transfer where, bro? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. I, there's, I don't know where the hell he needs to go. Where are you going, bro? Maybe Duke. That would be insane. If you didn't score at USC, <clears throat> you're not going to score at Duke. Yeah. Y'all saying it. He, if he entered his transfer portal, he could have just said, I'm declaring for the draft. Isaiah out of there. Listen, man. Yeah. So you college want, he's going to a big school, bro. College basketball is not for him. He might go to Ohio State. Anybody with the last name James and the first name Bron. <laughs> college <laughs> basketball is just not for y'all, bro. Just go do yeah. what y'all supposed to do. Be NBA players, bro. You think he'll be a first round pick? No, hell no. He's gonna go undrafted to the Lakers or a second round. Yeah, to the so if he did, that was my pick. How do you think people would feel about that happening? If Who it, cares? If, I, I agree, but I'm just saying. They how do you think that would for be for making the McDonald's All American game? So he, bro, he built for this. 
Yeah. Yeah. But going to a different school, I'm I'm not sure what he's looking for. I mean, they coach left, right? Yeah. I mean, it don't really matter. Damn. I yeah. say go to the league, but I mean, he said portal, so. I mean, I'm just saying, like, what school could really. What does he have to benefit from? Like you say, going to Duke, I guess, if you want to go play with Cooper, go get a national championship, maybe, I guess. But other than that, there's nothing that makes sense for him. He's a pro. Go be a pro, bro. Yeah, like, you're LeBron's son, bro. What a, <clears throat> college just not. It's not adding up, bro. Unless he's like, damn, I need to be better. I need to showcase my skills more. Like, I'm better than what I perform. Mm-hmm. And it's for, it's on him. Like, nah, I'm better than that. I want to. I want to show that. And I was going to ask, with the prestige in that family, you, how would they even feel about him being a second round of undrafted pick? I feel like they would feel a way. If anybody would feel a way about that, I feel like LeBron would say it would feel a way about that shit. Wow, so they probably like, hey, man, you need to show some more. So he might be going to UCLA. I can't see him leaving California. Bingo. So I, ain't, be I ain't be going that. I'm going to say the nigga might slip in Ohio State, bro. Mm. I mean... He could be going anywhere. He can go wherever he want, but I'm just saying. He might as well just go to the NBA. I think you go. <clears throat> you got a full year. Feel me? You had you was injured with your heart and shit. Yep. Got you a new one. Go to a different school, perform, and now see if, you know, you can bump your stock up. But I get what you're saying, bro. But if he in a portal, let him try it out. Nah, go hoop. I just don't think he's a college basketball player. No, nah, nah, he's, he's a, a pro. pro. Yeah, I don't think what he his skill set is not meant for college. Like, uh-huh. for be a college player and have shine, you got to get buckets. And yeah. he's not like a a bucket getter. What he do well is like I can pass, I play good defense, yeah. I can make a shot. Mm-hmm. But I'm not like a aggressive get bucket person. I'm a really complimentary player. Yeah. And you being LeBron kid don't help niggas yeah. expecting thirty. You supposed to be Isaiah. Yeah. So if you get. 10, 5, and 5. We like, <laughs> NBA people know that's a good game. Yeah. Like, but he, I saw it a long time when I used to argue with Mook about it. I'm like, bro, he don't got an average 20, bro. His skill set alone is way better than a lot of niggas. Yeah. He yeah. ain't just, you know, it's hard to nigga average 40 though, on a team like that. So, And like you said, <clears throat> the college game, especially when it comes to scoring, is fucking different. Mm-hmm. But then they don't even give a fuck about college scores, which is the crazy part. So he really, like you said, ain't really no win-win for that shit. Yeah, just got to leave, bro. <clears throat> that was just surprising to see. Yeah. Like, damn, like, nigga, you leaving? Like, I thought he was just saying, I'm declaring. Yeah. That's a lot of niggas in that portal, too, bro. Mm-hmm. We're a portal full, bro. It's crazy how you got to battle. Like, I don't want to be in a portal, bro. And I'm just a nigga 24, bro, finna go to the same school as me at the same position. Yeah, your coach is taking him, bro. <clears throat> He's better than me. He's yeah. older than me. He's grown. Like, as a kid. But nigga, no real adversity, nigga. Facts, but shit, yeah, that's crazy, man. R.I.P. Vontae Davis, man. They found him uh, unresponsive last week. Salute to him. He brought us one of the best moments in the history of sports. Retiring at halftime. Why is that one of the best moments? Cause, bro, he said, "I'm done with this shit, bro." Nah, fire. Man. And then the stories behind the Bills pair is behind it, bro. One of my favorite moments in football. He was a lockdown corner, but it was funny as hell to hear him wearing that guy. He was just like, yeah, I'm done with this shit. Like, you had you had that moment. He was just like, oh, damn, shit got ugly. He's like, yeah, I can't keep up with these niggas no more. I'm no, done. I respect that. What happens to him? Uh, what ha- I'm not sure what happened. But, yeah. Damn, R.I.P. I ain't know that. Yeah. Freaky Mike, what you doing, man? Freaky Mike out here fucking up shit. But R.I.P. to, to Broski. Yeah, man, that's just crazy. Yeah, that shit's crazy. But it also reminds me of Tony Brown. The way that he left his last game. One of the wildest. That's the wildest. Look. Him and DeMar Hamlin back and forth was funny yeah. than a bitch, bro. Hey, what did he say about DeMar Hamlin, bro? He said, uh, when somebody died, uh, a fictional person that died. He went, and then he responded. And he was just like, he's like, hey, man, I don't run my Twitter, man. Like, get off that. Psych, nigga, I run this shit for you. <laughs> Like, it's like the <laughs> <laughs> you see him hooping in the boots? Man, that nigga said who's a fictional person that died, bro. He bro, said, bro, 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 bro. That's the real AI, that's, bro. Hey, that's that's right? He's, he's real a real AI? format? Yeah, hey, that's bro. a great question, though. Who's a fictional character that died that you was like, damn? Tupac. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Ricky, Boys of the Hood, bro. Hmm. 
Should have learned that that fly route. He wasn't going to USC <laughs> running like that, no way. <laughs> Damn. That's why I took his scholarship. And nigga didn't know how to hit a... They shot the <laughs> shit out of him, too. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah, that's crazy. Probably didn't say a bitch ass. Whoa. Well, training <clears> Yeah. Or, <laughs> Lonzo was a, was a good nigga. Or, a or, my nigga, nigga. or my nigga from uh, Hardball, Pauls. G baby. Oh, yeah, G baby. That's yeah. how I knew we couldn't trust Michael B. Jordan. He let his homie get smoked. Yeah, G Damn, baby. Michael B. Jordan was in that? Yeah, he, he sure was. was. He sure was. G baby was a tough loss to the. The yeah. movie community. <laughs> one of the best assistants. But coaches. the most craziest one for real, and Columbo, you out of pocket for the finesse, was Chris Brown. They got all them people to go see Stump the Yard. <laughs> and that nigga was in the movie. <laughs> and they purposely minutes. off that nigga yeah. at the beginning of that bitch. So Columbo could shine. Yeah. Every time they show that meme, it's like, Chris Brown did that move and niggas literally wanted to kill him. I'm like, yeah. that's crazy. Nah, <laughs> Kelly Rowland, when she got killed or something so fast. Damn. What movie was that? It was like Scream or some shit. She got killed like... The Damn, baby minute. girl. They killed Kelly Rowe off? Yeah, they killed her so fast. Damn. Bro, what y'all think about Beyonce album? Uh, I didn't listen to it, but apparently all the women love it. Turn up. It's streaming. I heard a couple of uh, songs on TikTok. It's cool. Can she do anything wrong? No. No, she's Beyonce. That's crazy. What's next? Gospel. They said she's doing rock album. Oh, that's tough. She just got the fan base for it, bro. <clears throat> like, her music just not for us, bro. It's too diverse. Mm-hmm. Hey, she man. literally got country. All those, even when she making songs like Drunk and Love and shit, all those people who's tapped into the country and pop and rock world, go to them, sing her shit word for word, bro. No matter what she does, bro, the, yeah. the community is going to say, this is what we're doing now. <clears throat> Give her, her your money. That's why I think Drake is okay. Don't matter. Like, none of the rest of them nigga, rap niggas can compete with him, bro. You think, um, He's you think got Drake a way gonna, bigger audience than everybody else. You think Drake gonna, like, respond to Kendrick? He most definitely is. He pulled a song off of, he's pulled a feature off of somebody's album recently. The next time we hear him is gonna be in response to that. Hmm. Do y'all really think he can compete with him, though? Uh, <clears throat> he gotta, he can't attack him in music. He has to do the other shit. Like, he can do a song, but he, it's going to have to be a measured attack to respond. He can't just do bar for bar. He'll lose every time. I don't know, bro. He probably got some shit brewing, bro. <clears throat> he can't rap better than Kendrick. But I don't mean he can't make a fire-ass diss he can, record. He can I don't disagree. Song. I don't disagree. But I think he can say some very disrespectful shit. That song is so fire, though. I think what makes it that much better is that the song, song is, is fire. It's a, it went number one. Yeah. It ain't just like a great diss. Oh, <laughs> that part hard. Oh, yeah, that shit hard, bro. <laughs> That's what he do, nigga. <laughs> but like you said, yeah, all right, I'm on that. Yo, I'm on that. I mean, that kind of shocked the pod right there. I nah, didn't I'm know. on that. I'm on that. Having a I diss record. Tweet down to Rex. Respect, <laughs> bro. I, I got a slight, bro. Chill. No, I was just saying, bro. How you did that was nuts, bro. I'm turned up now. <laughs> that nigga made a sound effect. That nigga killed that verse, though. Having a disc record ring off in the club, something Drake would do, and then they took the same formula and made it better. Because that beat is fucking amazing. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Metro did his thing with that. Dra- Drake with that back-to-back, it it it, it put one in me. Oh, Pause. Man. Whoa. <laughs> that, that went crazy, bro. Why would you even say that? <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, nigga, that was a real shot at him, like, <laughs> oh, and it man. shut him down for a while. Oh God! Put one in me in a real shot. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <They> go, oh! <laughs> well, you do it again. <laughs> back to back. You talking about, the, the real back to back. That's crazy. It's nuts. Y'all crazy. I don't even think he did the head motion that you did in the song. Like nigga, he didn't do that in the studio, long, bro. <laughs> nigga. So why you just throw your shit back like that? That's nah, crazy. Hey yo, you just throwing talk. <laughs> What's up with that, bro? We can move on this pod, bro. Got, bro. <laughs> he already talked about taking shots and all this shit. So it's getting fouled. It's getting fouled in the game. Yeah. Um, almost the end of the season. Who y'all got with the MVP? <clears throat> I don't even know, bro. I got Shay. I Shay got to get it, man. I feel like Shay got to get it. Yeah, he had game winners and shit. Yeah. They gonna fuck around, and be one or two in the West. He he got to get it this year. Yeah, it's dope. It's it's his. They win the first round of playoffs, they'll give it to him. They say it's a regular season award. 
Don't matter what you do in the postseason. Mm. It don't never affect. It don't never apply though. I think that's a fucking lie too. Yeah, it apply. No, it don't. Yeah, it do. Don't nobody ever have a good showing in the. Dirk didn't have a good show. He got knocked out the first round. Still won MVP. Who was last year MVP? Who was the Joker? Nah, no. Joel. 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 Like, they don't never do good in the playoffs. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Man, him and Alvin Mitchell come back for the playoffs is pissing me off. You gotta have a decent. You gotta have a. Your team has to really be winning for you to win MVP. They winning. Uh, Shay. No, I'm saying. I, no, I give it to <clears> Shay. <throat> if y'all pick a Shay, I give it to Shay too. I'm just saying, like niggas gotta do. You gotta win to get MVP, bro. You just can't kill throughout the season to get it. I agree. No, that's what it's a really. You just gotta bro. kill during the season. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Oh, you got to win games, bro. When is the last time a nigga with a losing record won MVP? Oh, no, we're saying you got to win regular season games. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm just very skeptical about all these awards. Now that we've seen more of the people who actually have these votes and what they be on, it'd be like, I'm very skeptical of that shit. Nah, he it better. should be regular season, but we know niggas don't be acting like that. It better be. He, he should win this MVP this year. Yeah, because they going crazy this year. Nobody expected that shit to happen at all. Besides but, me. Yeah. Your Kings take is going down bad because they keep losing two guards. Yeah. That's, that's where that's sad, crazy. bro. Shit crazy. Yeah, bro. Porter and Monk back to back like that is crazy, bro. Yeah, that's tough. They yeah. were starting off so well. Malik Monk should be six men a year damn near. Yeah, he should be. Yeah, and they owe Malik a bag, man. Well, who else we ain't talk about, though? It's my dog, Baby Zebo, NC State. Hey, come on, man. Shout out to NC State. They got an idiot in the board in there. Yeah. What's up, Jay? Jaden. Turn up. Yeah, they made it to the fold. That's crazy. But who y'all got winning the tournament? I got UConn. I don't think nobody want to see UConn. Mm -mm. Yeah. Who they, who they match up with, Purdue? Now, UConn got Alabama, which would be a really good uh -oh. game. So, Purdue and NC State. How <laughs> you say? Alabama's cook? Alabama's uh. cook. Damn. Shit. I told y'all they was going to make the fold, though. You did take them over at uh, Alabama. North Carolina. Yeah. You did. Respect you did. I said Purdue was going to make it. I said UConn. Go. I didn't have NC State. Yeah, Purdue make it all the way, man. You got a boy got to go first round. Edie. He hitched his way back up. Like I said, that's a big accomplishment for him. He about bro. to get cooked by uh, Baby <clears throat> Zebo. I would love to see that. That's going to be He going to cook Baby Zebo too, though. Man. He is, but. He can hoop. I just hate watching him play. I hate watching Zach Edie play. He's so slow. He kills, though. No, he cold. And I ain't going to discredit him because that nigga had 40-bar elimination game. You were cold. Yeah. God, watching that shit is just so fucking slow and damn fouls and, like, God damn, bro. Do something exciting, man. Well, I ain't got that Z. That's what Zebo there for. Zebo can put that bitch on the floor a little bit. He can pass a little bit. That's my favorite part of the tournament. I told y'all. Like, I love seeing niggas stock rides like that. But... Especially like him because he can hoop. He yeah. can hoop. Zach, I ain't gonna lie. He gonna struggle with Zach Eady. Shout out DJ Ben. Nah, it's going to be a long night. Yeah, he gonna struggle with Eady though. But uh, shout out to Joey Burton. He said this on Twitter, and I was like, this is the smartest shit, and nobody ever executes. Nigga, you cannot beat Purdue shooting layups. You can't beat a team with a good big playing in the paint. Y'all have to shoot threes. Yeah. So that's why I think NC <sighs> State got a chance, just because they can hit perimeter shots, but... If it go hot, it's supposed to go Purdue, UConn, and UConn gonna probably smack Purdue. Mm. <clears throat> I want. I like to see UConn. UConn got a nice big too, though. Hell yeah, he nice. Yeah, he nice as shit. And I think shit, NC State run needs to get talked about more because they ran through the ACC tournament. Nah, that, it's an unbelievable run. Yeah, as an eleven seed. No, bro, they wasn't even. They were in the ACC tournament. Low. They were like, yeah, they were low. They were super low in the ACC tournament. They were supposed to lose. They hit a bank three. Come on, bro. To send them the overtime, win in overtime, and then they beat some really good teams. They beat Virginia, and then they beat some really good teams going forward. Yeah. And then to go on this run all the way through the NCAA tournament is crazy. Like, and they beat Duke twice. Yeah, this got to be like a 30 for 30. Yeah. To make it NC to the State four. definitely ain't been lit since Julius Hodge was there. Shit. Damn. Yeah, before that, nigga, the sense. Oh, hold on. My boy Dennis was there. They was trash, bro. Trash. They best runs. They uh, sucked when he was there. They had uh, like Jimmy that. Valvano and they won the shit. That no, ball, come on. Yeah, so this they best run since then. And the black coach was about to get fired this year. Crazy. Well, damn near on the ropes. I ain't going to say he was going to get fired, but he was on the ropes. Now he probably about to get a bad extension. He's about to get five-year 25. 
He on his Navy Miller shit. Navy Miller replaced the uh, old boy in the war to the Eastern Conference yeah, Finals on some facts. bullshit. Get in the bag. That's Fire. crazy. Fire your 25 for him. Well, y'all got, obviously, we picked South Carolina, but in the women's matchups. Hey, man, Kaylin Clark and Paige might be. That's the matchup? It might be. A, it's a potential matchup. I seen she said she wanted to go to UConn. They, they ain't never offered her. Yeah, we 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 are straight. I think I got you. I got <laughs> UConn going. Nah, Caitlin Clark about to cook them. They ain't offer you. She might go for fifty, but they gonna lose. I'm going with Caitlin. I believe we gonna lose. UConn gonna strap up the mother two girls. The mother two girls are having out of body experiences during this NCAA tournament. They wasn't like that in the regular season. I would love. <clears throat> obviously, I want Don Staley to win. But I would love to see like a crazy Caitlin Clark performance against South Carolina in the championship. I wouldn't care who won, but that would be fire. Yeah, yeah. You can't play Staley six people it. though. Yeah, they got uh, they lost injuries. Play like eight, bro. Huh? They I better. The game. He play like eight, and he got a motherfucker on there, a, a big girl with like these yellow dreads. Yeah, she about to get cooked Raw. in that pick and roll. Raw. No, sir. She about to have to run out there like Angel oh. Reese and be getting. No. You're gonna be doing this like everybody yeah. else would. Like, <laughs> like every picture you've seen, when she hit a three, everybody like, she shoot from half court. That's one of the worst excuses I hate when people don't guard shooters well. When they shot from the volleyball line, but they shoot there all the time, nigga. You should probably be out there. Yeah. Nah, it's kind of hard to get them though, bro. Cause they can shoot everywhere out there. Yeah. You can't do nothing about that motherfucker. Pick and roll, motherfucker said a good pick, a Draymond pick on you. You damn near. Oh, you in that motherfucking what I do mode. Yeah. And then if you got a quick release, it's, that's what I'm it's saying. a wrap. You know? I didn't say that they gonna can guard them, it. You're going to see them yellow braids. <laughs> this nigga's talking about excuses. You're going to see it's that gonna yellow braids swinging back and forth. <laughs> Why Kayla run it down? Yeah. No, nah, but telling me she shot out there is not an excuse. She shoots out there all the time. Get the <laughs> fuck out there. I know you can't do it all the time, but don't tell me where was the half court. Well, the shit goes in now, half court too. Get the fuck up. That'd be so much. You got and you gotta save your energy sometimes, bro. Them pick and rolls. If that shit green every time, bro, you gotta kind of. I'm gonna take a risk on this one. Coach is gonna have to figure it out with this one, bro. A nigga guarding the pick and roll hard every time, bro. Let's talk hoop, bro. That shit is hard as fuck, bro. It's never yeah. impossible. That's all these niggas did, bro, in Atlanta, bro. That's their job. That That's shit is hard, job. but that shit is hard to fucking do. job. Bro. What do you mean? That's your job. Or like, if you're coaching that the team. That pick and pop shit. If yeah. nigga him, the shit him and Al did, bro, that shit was hard to guard, bro. It was their job, bro. But Caitlin Clark is one, one person player. on that team. You so want them to pass to the other people. So why is this your coach but making the But the girls was killing, him? though. That's what I'm saying. I don't think that's going <clears> to happen this time, though. I think they're going to beat the fuck out of them. If they play UConn, they're going to beat the shit out of Iowa. What's they crazy is nobody else. Both, both like UConn and NC State got a chance to both win the championship in both school like programs. That's far. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Probably won't happen for NC State girls. Respect to their journey, but yeah. But UConn, UConn didn't did that a couple times, though. For sure. UConn built for that. Went in the same year and shit. Yeah. They got one of the best programs in the well, last, I mean, period. Allen, but. Ben Gordon and them. Mecca Okafor and them. Kimba. I was going to say, Kimba and them did the shit. Yeah. 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 Most recent. Did they win when uh, Ryan and them won? Well, when, um, not Ryan, um, Shabazz. Yeah. Did they win both with both women's and? I have women's, I think, I think women's won that year too. That's crazy. Yeah, they, UConn's a cheap, like, they girls teams, shit, they boys team been good. It's tough, bro. Yeah, Gino was Nick Saban. Who's the greatest nigga to come out of UConn? Hoop boss? Yeah. I'm going, oh, wait, are you talking about, like, Ray college Allen. career or just period how good they are? Ray That's another question. Oh, I'm going Kemper. Ray Allen, bro. Oh, you saying college? Yeah. I got to go Kemper. Shit. Ben Gore. Ben Gore. And Mecca Oakford's raw. Yeah, Mecca Oakford. We won National Player of the Year. Mecca was nasty, bro. They had better teams than Kimba, though. They had better teams than Kimba. Kimba they had to win did. 11 straight. That's tough. Yeah, Kimba was nasty. I ain't hate That motherfucker Mecca old for, But bro. Kimba, yeah. Kimba had a You got to think, Charlie Bill on the way with Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay had an amazing career. He was kind of weak at UConn, though. Who? They ain't really win like that. 
He was a double double. Yeah, he was man. killing, but they team was, was raw. They was kind of weak. They teams was weak though. How we going? Y'all doing winning? I'm who? Who was nice? Man. Oh, that's what I asked you. I said this I'm nigga. Going was on, yeah, I'm talking about in college niggas that was nice, bro. Oh, but then I'm going Ray I Allen. Think, then. I think Rudy Gay got nice when we got in the league. I wasn't really a fan of Rudy yet. Oh, you you know. ain't tapped in, bro. Rudy Gay, 2K legend. Yeah, and when he got to the league, he was nasty. But in UConn, he was like, they was sad. Rudy Gay was nice as fuck. What are you talking was, about? To be so nice, they teams was like weak. Well, I mean, that's just they had a like Calipari team, McDonald's All Americans everywhere. It yeah. was still nice. We'll go off. <laughs> like the hardest nigga. I used to like Marcus Williams when he was at UConn. He was nice. Shout out to my nigga. He was cold. tapping in. He was cold. I was like, damn. I fucked with him and AJ Price. It was Fuck nice. AJ Price too. AJ Price. Hey, well, I legend. just thought Rudy, should, they should have been nastier, bro. Like, yeah, they had the greatest probably front court in yeah, he program like, bro, history. They supposed to be winning, bro. That was him, I think, Villanueva and Hilton Armstrong. Come on, bro. Well, no, Villanueva. Rudy Gay is 04. Villanueva is 03. I forgot who was there, but him and Hilton Armstrong, they had a... They should have won more. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They like, should have won more. You got to push your bass in that conversation, too, because he got two chips. Yeah, Shabazz was nasty, too. I like that boy, too. Uh, Bo Wright? Ryan Bo Wright? No, 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 no. Ryan Bo Wright could hoop, but who played with Kimba and them in their last championship? He ended up going to... Uh, Jeremy Lamb? Jeremy Lamb. Yeah, he was He nasty. was raw in college. Yeah, he was nasty, too. Damn, I remember they had Jeremy Lamb and Andre Drummond. Yeah. That's crazy. Damn, Andre Man, Drummond. They had Sheen. I seem to beat. Ooh. Yeah. Who was the... People. Remember who was the, who was the nigga that played with uh, Rip Hamilton and them, the point guard? Chubby Clyde, nigga. Clyde Alamine. He Khalid was raw. Alamine. Khalid Alamine yeah. was raw. Him and Lance Fields, they was the, the battle of the chubby yeah, point guard. His guards. son is cold. He played for D1 Minnesota. Yeah. Nah, he was he was nasty back in the day, bro. Damn. Shout out to college hoops, man. Final four coming soon. By the time we record again, we'll have a champion. We'll see who's right. We'll see who's wrong. We'll get up out of here. Like, share, subscribe. All that good shit. Grab you some merch. Be here. Where should they grab the merch at? Shopclub520.com, please. Club520.com. It's in my bio. I don't know about the 520 page. It's in the bio. He's hating. All right. <laughs> it's in mine for sure. <laughs> and if you hit him directly, he'll give you a promo code. Hey, you know what show I used to think was fake too before we go? What? Hooker's Point. What's that? Yeah, I never watched that. Oh, never mind. I'm still talking now. Yeah, I never seen that show. I'll tell us more. I mean, I don't think it was fake because, but like, Nah, because one episode, the condom broke and Buddy was scared. So it probably was a real show. Never I hate mind. that type shit. That was the worst time. If you... <laughs> when the condom break, oh my God, the anxiety. It's through the roof. <laughs> Nigga sweating all the way to CVS. Lord Jesus. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, you never seen that show? It was on HBO though? <laughs> nah, I've never it used, to, it used to be like Hooker's Point. It used to be like real sex. Nah, we got <laughs> we got to research this. <laughs> You Mike, know? did you find it? Yeah. <laughs> you never seen it? Huh? He's he's just, I don't even want to search that. <laughs> you know it's so saying? funny when we be trying to get niggas to tap in, they be like, no. Nah. You, you know what I'm You Google something and it's blurry? That was Hooker's point, the show, right? Yeah, all the shit's blurry. Uh, like, oh, you yeah. know, it's, it's sensitive. Niggas be like, nah, we don't know. Nah, that was the show, bro. For real. He's come on HBO. Oh, wow. Nah, that was, that came on what? It came on HBO, didn't it? What? <laughs> Bro, I used to watch that shit. You look like a crackhead. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I used to like, a crackhead running on the street. It used to be shit like that. They used wow, to be on the bro. corners. They used to have a camera. I'm like, bro, it's no. Do y'all think people really signing up to show that they really hookers? Like, I ain't know if that was fake, but. You was watching hookers get hit and they was things. Nah, but it used to be like a black dude on there talking, like, yo, I do this because, like, he like had a camera. Nigga be talking to him, like, how much you about to go pay for that? He like, 60 bucks. Like, I do it because, like, I struggle to get women. And I'm like, nigga, it's no way somebody it was really... more expensive back then. <laughs> I mean, I don't remember the price, but I'm just saying. <laughs> if I you just... give $60 to a junkie to Cracker, bro, you lost, bro. Lock, I'm just saying They that. need to lock him up, bro. Or he was on that show, and I just remember the episode, nigga. All the motherfuckers who was to watch HBO when you were supposed to, you and Lil, they gonna know what I'm talking about. Having a pre-game speech before you grab, grab you some was handy. I swear to God, bro, I, I'll never forget it. <laughs> Motherfucker, so how much you gonna pay for that, nigga? Shit, but it was six. like you talking to a cameraman, then he'd go in the alley with Shorty, and the cameraman like shooting like I'm like, bro, is this real? Like he's shooting from the 
Damn. And he got a mic on, though. And he like, oh, it broke. And I'm I mean, like, now as I'm older, I'm like, there's no way you had a mic on. Why you about to go do a... Yeah. You, this is, like, illegal. <laughs> like, All right, that nigga should have came to Boulevard. <laughs> Half off. <laughs> and they got out 60 is crazy. Uh, but what's the, what was the shit? Bunny Ranch. What was that shit called? Cat House or some shit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, all that shit's come up. Hey, HBO used to have the hitters. <laughs> I, I have never heard of this show. I'm gonna have to tap in now. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> I'm about to say, I don't think you would. It's already too expensive for me. <laughs> But shout out to the, and also, know, yeah, I know this next champion. episode of 525 how much you should pay <laughs> 60 with no dick dinner like it's nuts man I don't know what he did I just remember I, said extra I was just saying we talked about shows that we said was fake bro I, I, I think that show was fake bro. somebody make an official menu <laughs> oh they got it in Thailand y'all ain't never seen that meme oh. where they walk in there in Thailand yeah y'all never seen the meme where you walk in, in Thailand there with the and the woman. lady starts speaking she be like Ass titties through the <laughs> And she wrote off the menu. Yo, it's crazy. That motherfucker sound like an auction. The Man, nigga. what? <laughs> what should you be watching? Bro, if you on Instagram, yeah, you've never seen that shit. They that like, nigga swore pages. They, like, <laughs> they go through the whole thing, bro. Like, listen, all the motherfuckers on YouTube. And that nigga tapped in in the foreign world. It's nah. real shit going on in Thailand. He's talking about a bitch that's an auction seller. Send them this shit, bro, on Instagram, bro. We got to get a chance, Hell no. Nah. Send it to the DMs. Bro. Out the Pirellis. I'll spell no, it out for y'all. No, 520, <laughs> Jeff T. Nah. Fuck it, you mean? Indeed, that shit be up, man. Y'all Collaborate like, with him. Oh, that's nah, crazy. It ain't no collab, bro. It's already on the <laughs> ground, bro. This shit funny as hell, because it's like, nigga, what? Shout out to the me using the Passport Bros, man. Probably was on their page, shit. <laughs> we out. <laughs>